So here we have a raised bed. Uh, there's uh, East University and uh, and so basically this was uh, mostly just a um, you know overgrown with weeds etc but I mean it was actually a butterfly garden because just by by default that the weeds were beautiful flowers so and uh, this is a bed we put in uh, just the other day Uh, here at Mary Springs, this is type of the permaculture approach to gardening that we are participating in. And so there's, so you can see some uh, azaleas, is uh, up to some pine trees. As to, um, and then we're going to put some, uh, put some plants all up in there. Little uh, Swiss chard, spinach, good stuff like that. We have out over in that corner over there, we have uh, some firewood, some seasoning, some ready now this year. And uh, then we got our backyard, which is our backyard garden uh, that Herman and uh, many other kind folk helped put together. And there was a tree there at one point that uh, sheltered a lot of light and uh, the vines were more than I'd seen in a, long, a lot of places. So. That is now light for us on our garden so that we may truly just grow food right right close up into our um, <clears throat> our kitchen there. Pardon the uh, backyard garbage, you know, it's just chaos lives here just as much as order. And uh, we got some sugar cane there and some Okinawa spinach and ginger, turmeric. Uh, some some various uh, mints and basil and Jaden <laughs> awesome and we got Herman over here with some of our woofing volunteers if any woofers are watching this video these are some of the things you do help build raised beds like this this actually also costs um, just even though mostly it's volunteer work, still so costs uh, probably about two hundred dollars, or you know, like three hundred dollars of, of materials and and such uh, to get one of these built. And then probably this one was probably even more like maybe five hundred dollars or something like that. But you can see that once the initial investment is made, there's um, you have just a really awesome self-supporting network. Uh, that's going to be yielding a lot of food just literally outside your back door from your kitchen. The kitchen's in, inside there. And sweet, we have Harry, we have Herman doing an amazing job. Amazing job, Herman, amazing job. We're doing a little video, man, so we can do some fundraising. What, what, do, you say about, what, do, you, what do you say about fundraising? <laughs> yeah. And then we got the wood there. We're gonna line line it like we did over uh, over here. So you see how that's got lined with the wood perimeter. That's what we're gonna do as well. I hope I'm not spinning this too fast. It's been a while since I've done any video taking. But yeah, here's the the center. It's gonna basically be kind of like a keyhole. That's how they call it. So the entrance is over there on the far right where the flags are. And we don't get too crazy with the flags, but we definitely uh, use them to uh, just get at least a general approximation within inches. Yeah, well, so there's university, and that gives you an idea how close we are to uh, the main road. And this is uh, all part of the Mary Springs experience where we get to go ahead and just connect with the public and help them feel safe with uh, nature and connecting to more organic ways of living, much more happy ways of existing. So, until next time, uh, best wishes from Merry Springs, and may all your days be merry. Home.